So guys, this week we got some official news from the Hell Let Loose dev team that loadouts are finally going to be coming to the game in Update 4. And obviously, that means there's a lot to talk about in this one. So guys, this is Billy Eat World again, and let's find out. Alright, so like I said, in this week's dev briefing, the devs gave us a heap of new info on the new loadout system, which is going to be coming very soon. We now know that it is going to be coming in update number four, and although we don't have a solid date on this one just yet, we know that it is going to be coming sometime this month. Now, in the last couple of updates, the devs have slowly been adding in the progression system and some cosmetics to go along with that. But this new loadout system, well, it looks like it's going to be a serious improvement because it's not going to be just cosmetic, it's actually going to affect the in-game meta. Now, if you're familiar with loadout systems in other class-based shooter games like, for example, Battlefields, well, the first thing I should mention is that it does look like this one is going to be a fair bit different. By the looks of it, there's not going to be that much flexibility in the customization. Instead, what you'll do is pick a preset class role loadout rather than switching out the individual items. Apparently, you'll start out with a default loadout, and as you rank up your class level, you'll unlock three new ones at level three, six, and nine. And like I said, this is probably going to shake up the meta a lot. For example, as you can see here, the officer role is finally going to get access to more long range weapons instead of just the SMGs. Now, according to the devs, the reason they're adding in this flexibility to roles is because obviously not all weapons suit all maps and situations. But not just that, they want to reflect the quote, historical variety that many soldiers had access to. Now, speaking of historical variety, well, another thing the devs mentioned is that they realize a lot of people are going to want to pick automatic weapons over the standard issue rifles. And so apparently roles will only be getting access to weapons that make historical sense. And they also, quote, want to preserve the historical ratio seen during the war itself. Another thing I should mention is loadouts won't just affect primary weapons. Apparently, they're also going to affect gadgets as well. And according to the devs, what makes up a loadout will follow a theme, which once again will often have a historical focus. Probably the most interesting thing that I found in this post is the example the devs gave of this. And I just want to read this out because it's really weird, but actually kind of awesome. Apparently, quote, the medic will have access to a Padre loadout that increases their total medical supplies, but removes all firearms to better reflect the historical role of medics and non-combat personnel. But finally, the last bit of info the devs gave us in this week's post that I want to tell you guys about is some of the new weapons that they're thinking of bringing to the game. Apparently, and we don't know when this is actually going to be happening, but eventually we're going to be getting the grease gun, the trench gun, and some new Tommy gun variants for the US team, as well as the MG34, the FG42, and the Panzerfaust for the German team. Not just that, and we already kind of knew about this, but the devs also mentioned in this post that flamethrowers are going to be coming to the game, and apparently they're going to be on the support kit. And by the wording of this post, it looks like they could be on their own loadout, maybe replacing the primary weapon. So pretty interested to see how that's going to work when they finally do come to the game. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this quick news video. So as always, make sure you let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And just remember, all of this will be coming this month in Update 4. Like I said, we don't know exactly when yet, but don't worry, when I do know that info, I'll be letting you guys know right here on this channel. As always, though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also, don't forget, you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch. And as always, until next time, see you later, and have a good one.